Subject number one is definitely showing signs of infection. Look at those scales. You realize what we have here, don't you? The first mammalian virus engineered from reptile DNA. The gestation period is complete. Congratulations, Kurt. The anaconda is airborne. We've weaponized a virus lethal to rats without knowing how it will affect humans. One step at a time. But we could save thousands of lives if you help me persuade Cobra to let us create the antidote. Our research could lead to other cures, to other contagions. Cobra is not easily swayed, even by passion as genuine as yours. I can't do it without you, Doctor. You won't have to. What is it? Your suit is compromised. Couldn't have happened more than a few seconds ago. Doesn't mean I'm infected. You've been exposed. You know the protocol. Dr. Monin, wait! You must be quarantined. <coughs> Indefinitely. <coughs> Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Beginning to miss shipwreck stomach churner. I'm not loving this scenario. Limited cover, one escape route. It's no trap. I didn't know who else to contact. And honestly, I, I didn't expect an answer. You mentioned in your email that your father has been missing for two days. My adopted father, Dr. Kurt Schnur, became a biochemist, hoping to fight disease in developing countries. And he was until Cobra made clear they had a different agenda in mind. Oh, that Cobra, so predictable. How did he sound when you last spoke to him? He was nervous, desperate. He was like he was trying to tell me goodbye. Hi, Papi. Let me guess, his office is a heavily guarded facility. Well, this rat ain't going nowhere near a killer germ lab. <laughs> I want to believe my father's alive, but I'm so afraid. <laughs> Keep believing, Elena. We will bring him back, I promise. What are you sitting around for? Let's move it, ladies. Did she just call us ladies? She was looking at you when she said it. Hey, we don't know her father's status. How could you make a promise like that? What that girl needed most was hope. Buenos dias, senor. Como está usted? E tengo una entrega para sus científicos. Muy importante. Nice work, amigo. Gracias. Biohazard suit. Let's look like we belong. Do I look like a potato? I'm not getting in that sack. Without it, your chances of being infected multiply by a thousand. Less yapping, more zipping. Yeah, no telling when microscopic horror cobra's brewing down here. I have seen you swim in a sewer. What is with the germophobia? Nature's bugs, I can deal with. It's the man-made monsters that'll turn you into pudding. 
Computers in the control room should allow us to check on Dr. Schnur's status. I'm not getting in without plastic. I can always knock. Really hard. Why aren't you in your suit? Nicely done, Snake Eyes. Server rooms are rarely guarded. I should have thought of it. You know, you do seem a little distracted. Oh, no. It's not your fault, Scarlet. We have to find out what happened to him. Make it quick. Schnur was working on a lethal virus called the Anaconda strain. Highly contagious. Yeah, had to say contagious. Hold on. If Schnur is deceased, why was his key card used just five minutes ago? Ninja gets to stay on the green level, and we're going downstairs to red. Why? Kurt's card was last swiped in sub-level four. Snake Eyes, have you patched in Roadblock? Okay, amigo. Make sure our horse is ready to ride. Should be saddled up, La Roja. Just in case. Approaching the quarantine area. Little help, Snake Eyes. You don't belong down here. Have a seat, Doc. And I'd think twice before sounding any alarms. Elena Schnur sent us here to find her father. Elena? You know my daughter? Is she all right? Elena is fine, Dr. Schnur. And so are you. No, I'm not. We'll get you out of there. No. If the virus gets loose, the entire world could become infected in a matter of days. The results would be... Well, see for yourself. The only rat still breathing is the carrier. I gave both Kurt and that rodent a general inoculation. It slows Anaconda down, but won't stop her. So the antidote doesn't work? My dear, there is no antidote. We haven't synthesized one yet. Actually, according to your lab records, there's not only an antidote, but it's being kept upstairs in BioVault C. Cobra must have been developing your formula with a separate team. Kurt, this means there's real hope. <coughs> I don't understand. Why would Cobra withhold the cure from me? I'm guessing you're not exactly employee of the month, are you, Dr. Schnur? Your attitude did seem to rub the Baroness the wrong way, but I can't believe she would... Believe it. We will break into the vault and find that antidote. Copy that, Snake Eyes. Don't! If the bio vault is breached, it will seal. You'll never make it back down here. Then we'll just have to bring you to the cure. Any attempt to free Kurt from quarantine will initiate a lockdown throughout the facility. I appreciate your efforts. But I won't survive this, and it's better I don't. Promise me one thing. You'll make sure Elena is cared for. <laughs> Quarantine breach. Contagion detected. Lockdown on level four. We're not going anywhere. We move fast enough, we can outrun the lockdown. The central exhaust shaft is on the other side of this wall. Intruder 
Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Careful, soldier. Naturally. We'll get you out of here, too. Contagion detected. Level 3. Initiated lockdown. We're running out of doors! Then climb faster! This just isn't your day. <laughs> Dr. Monif! Kurt, you've been a fine assistant and a wonderful test subject. You sabotaged my suit! I'm afraid so. Now that I know the Anaconda strain can infect humans, Cobra can release her into the general population. And sell the antidote. Folks will pay just about any price to live. Cobra Industries will be seen as a savior. I'll settle for the Nobel Prize. It's a win-win for everyone. Except you. <laughs> Contagion detected. Level 1. UV sterilization in 60 seconds. Ultraviolet. Sterilizer bomb. It'll flash fry anything not made of metal or concrete. I hope that thing evens out a tan. <laughs> Sterilization in three, two, one. Not breathing. How we doing back there? Good. We're all good.
You know too much about the real face of Cobra, Dr. Schnur. We have to get you out of Mexico. I have a cousin in L.A. Thank you so much. Better hurry, or you'll miss your flight. I'd like to know what happened. Me too. I'm decrypting the rest of the lab's records now. No. What happened to your father? Long story, Duke. Long drive. I lost him. Some years ago. Weird. Listen to this. The anaconda strain was unintentionally created while testing reptilian regenerative powers on a patient X in the States. Looks like we have a new target. Anyone else wondering why Cobra hasn't been chasing us down? Since when is that bad news? Whoa! Something seriously wrong with your twin. Yo! The antidote didn't work. The antidote worked just fine, but we never factored in gestation time. Kurt and your rat were infected for too long. They're no longer in jeopardy from the anaconda virus. They've become carriers. Which means Kurt will infect the plane. And the airport, and the city, and the world. Airlines website says the plane has already left the gate. We'll have to intercept it on the tarmac. Ow, it's not like flagging down a cab. Roadblock, grab the jetpack. No time, just get me close. What is it, sweetheart? Excuse us. I'm not sick. I've become a carrier. I'm Dr. Monef's outbreak. Dr. Schnur. You need to stay calm for Elena. I'm a danger to her and everyone else on this plane. I've become... A carrier, I know. We have the antidote. And if that's not enough, I must protect these people from the virus I created. Forgive me, Elena. No! Ugh. Didn't you hear? Ninjas can't fly. Hey, Scarlet, your boy just made the game saving catch. Snake eyes in the dark aren't pancakes. Maybe off this plane, but the anaconda strain isn't. Don't be shy with that antidote. Can't spray it in here. The cabin has lost pressure. It'll dissipate before it can be inhaled. 
I don't know what to do. Lieutenant, I know you will find some way to help those people. If you'll accept my apology, I could really use a new lab partner. I won't rest until I perfect a permanent antidote, Elena. I will help you, Bobby. That's our target, Wu Cheng, CEO of China Lai Telecom. He's one of several communications bigwigs on the guest list for a summit hosted by the Baroness at the Cicerovna family chateau. Just the place for Cobra to eliminate the competition. So we schlepped all the way to East Croatia, Hungo, Slavia, whatever, the crashing of the party? No crashing. Mr. Chang's our ticket in. He probably would have slept through the presentation anyway. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Step lively, gentlemen. Mr. Chang demands respect. You're enjoying this far too much. You better hope the real Mr. Chang doesn't wake up anytime soon. After all the secret sauce Snake Eyes slipped him, I'm betting Chang doesn't wake up anytime this week. Guten Tag. My mandarin is rusty. Ni hama. Hengaoxing an chini. Wow, what's with the racial? Just because I look Chinese, you assume I speak it? But, but you are the head of a Chinese phone company. Hey, do I tell you how to run your business, Gramps? Ow! Eh. Keep our gear close. We're going in unarmed. Doesn't feel right. There should be guards crawling all over this room. <laughs> Unless someone else got here first. What is this presentation? Why were we called here? Does anyone know? On behalf of Cobra Industries, I welcome you all to Chateau Cesarovna. 
Guys, looks like we have competition. Someone took out security, and it wasn't us. Copy that. We'll keep a sharp eye here. Ladies and gentlemen, my president and CEO, Adam Ducobre. Thank you, Baroness, for opening your family's baronial estate to us all. And I would especially like to thank all of you for attending this historic conference. Ah, don't mention it. You're about to get a sneak peek at our new flagship product. I give you the future of cellular communications technology. The Cobra Blackadder. I don't understand. Really nice. This looks promising. Thank you, Mr. Cash. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. You. Ooh, free swag. Hand it over. Ah, great. Why don't you fetch me some club soda? The Black Adder's unique subliminal technology will enable you to send messages directly to their brains. Advertising, calls to action, customer loyalty, complete and absolute loyalty. Spoil soup. Since when does a cook carry a plasma pulse weapon? I will ask the questions. Who do you work for? We're sort of independent right now. Maybe you've heard of us, the Joes. We're all over Cobra News Channel. I do not watch Cobra News. Propaganda is bad for digestion. As are unexpected guests. Wait! We have a mutual enemy. Maybe we can trade information. What kind of information? Lower your weapon and we'll chat. Scarlet, what's going on? Come in. This is not negotiation. Talk and live, or don't talk and don't live. Choice is yours. She needs backup. Go. You know you're not really in charge, right? Now, if you will all turn your attention to your phones, you will be the first to witness a demonstration of Cobra's patented technology. Huh? I've seen this show already, and I hated it the first time. You are servants of Cobra. You are loyal only to Cobra. You serve without question. Guys, we got problems. Cobra ain't eliminating the competition. They're mind controlling them with Tomax and Zamot's light show. Come in, anybody. I can tell you right now, there's a room full of innocent people who may be in danger. No one is innocent. You see this banquet. <laughs> the Cicerovnas grow fat. My people live on crumbs. Yo, what's cooking? Who is this guy? Someone with an axe to grind against the Baroness and her family. You tell him we're on the same side? Got lost in translation. Long live the October Guard! Planning, scouting the chateau, waiting for Baroness to return. Wasted. She still lives thanks to American Joes from Cobra News. That's what this is about? Blowing up the Baroness? You'd have taken dozens of innocent lives with her. <laughs> Collateral damage. A wise man once said blood is the price of victory. Karl von Clausewitz. Great Prussian general Karl von Clausewitz. You've read him. Yeah, I've read him. Don't agree with him. Oh, look. It's a smorgasbord of fail. 
Captain Anatoly Krimov. Or should I call you Red Star? Where is your precious October Guard now? Everywhere. We will not stop fighting the Cizarovnas until you all pay for your crimes against my people. That was generations ago, peasant. You became rich while thousands starved. Know your place. We ruled under the Tsars, then the Communists, then the Capitalists. Cizarovnas were born to rule. The October Guard will end your reign. We will leave scorched earth where the house of Cizarovna once stood. Dude's hardcore. And if we're not careful, we could end up just like him. After admire his passion. Yeah, I hate to break up the May Day rally, but I got some big plans for your yojo brains. Courtesy of my psychic pals, Tomax and Zaymot. Don't blink, or you might miss it. Oh, wait. You can't! Okay, find a fuse box, cut the power, no more light show. You need to come with us. You can't talk to me like that. Don't you know who I am? Hey, stop! Come back here! Huh? Where'd he go? Snake Eyes, the phone! Just gonna leave Comrade Cuckoo? Yeah, we can't exactly trust him. There's no time for debate. Every CEO up at that summit was handed one of those hypnophones, including Tunnel Rat. How far do you think you'll get without your weapons? I've studied this chateau for months. I know where the Baroness keeps her toys. Seeing those two strapped down and helpless never gets old for me. How long until the mind control becomes permanent? Relax, B. Cerebral manipulation is not an exact science. First, I have to keep Tweedledee and Tweedledum from nodding off so they could do their hypno mojo. <gasps> then I have to boost their psychic signal through that satellite dish. Then, beam it back to every single cell phone in that room taking into account the complexity of each CEO's unique neural network. How long? 20 minutes, 13 seconds. The commander has high hopes for this project. Once the CEOs are under our control, Cobra will have access to every communication satellite on the planet. And then we beam the mesmerizing message worldwide. Global mind control. Talk about signal strength. Used to that. As promised. But why did you let the guards live? Because there are some lines we're not willing to cross. Sadly, our mutual enemy does not share your weakness. Yo, T Rat, still in one piece? You need to get out of that party. Meet us in the garage. Cobra's using Tomax and Zaymot to control the. <laughs> Way ahead of you. The CEOs are just the beginning. And the mind control's gonna get eternal in 15 minutes. More than enough time to find safe distance from blast radius. Man, you have an unhealthy fascination with blowing stuff up. I've planted enough explosives to destroy the entire chateau. This will keep your mind control from spreading and send message to all Cizarovnas. Not to mention spread a lot of innocent civilians all over this hillside. 
Acceptable losses, as von Klauswitz said. <laughs> Von Klauswitz also said, never engage the same enemy too long or he will adapt to your tactics. I fail to see how this applies to the Cizorovnas. I'm talking about you! You've been fighting the Cizorovnas so long you've become as ruthless as they are. You dare compare me to the Cizorovnas? I will sacrifice myself for the cause if necessary, as did my father and his father before him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Cobra's routing the mind control signal through a satellite dish at the base of the mountain. We take out the dish, free will, without casualties. How much time? Ten minutes. I will give you nine. We need something to get us down the mountain fast. Take your pick. Is that what I think it is? I want a complete aerial sweep. Launch the flight pods now! Okay, it's like riding a bicycle. What was that? That is trouble. Flight pods! Travel bubbles! Tunnel rack, roadblock! Buy me some time! I'm gonna make a run at the ditch! That works too. Stay so close. To make sure you don't get an itchy detonator finger. <laughs> We're cutting it close. Less than four minutes till Ivan the Trigger Happy stops the fireworks. Speaking of fireworks. Just might hit some. Maybe you should quit your backseat driving and join the other powder bombs. means by my clock, you're out of time, comrades. I'm out. Me too. We have only one shot at this. I told you you were moving in too fast. Oh, my head. Mindbender, we've lost the transmission. Well, thanks for the newsflash, Mistress of the Obvious. 
Just let me reboot the system before... Before we awaken... And you surrender your will to the Brothers of Light. You will now show your obedience. What was this? Some kind of chalk? Waste of time. Never do business with them again. You Joes would sacrifice yourselves to protect innocence. Respect you. Don't agree with you yet. Only one of you will leave this room alive. The local authorities, much as we would enjoy witnessing their agony, brother, our freedom must supersede our vengeance. <clears throat> <clears throat> you back to town. What about you, Red Star? My comrades and I have survived in these mountains for generations. This is Red Star. Operation has been aborted due to unacceptable potential civilian casualties. off of me, Mindbender. <laughs> Whoa! We're just... Not good. Please follow me. Over here, yes. over here, please. Thank you very much. Please follow me. Brother, have you ever considered spreading our influence through telecommunications? <laughs> <laughs> 